Welcome to Mastery Tutorials, a series of video guides to help you easily navigate the Mastery LMS plugin. So you've decided to use Mastery to create an online school? You've made the right choice. But before we get to the building part, you must install and set up Mastery on your WordPress website. So why don't we show you how to install the free Mastery LMS plugin in this tutorial. It's super easy. Just log into your site's admin dashboard. Do you see the plugins menu in the admin sidebar? Click on it and you'll arrive at the plugins page. Press the add new button you see at the top of the page. Now, search for the Masterio plugin by typing its name into the search bar. When the plugin shows up, press the install now button. With the installation complete, you still need to activate the plugin. So don't forget to hit the activate button as well. As soon as the activation is complete, you'll be redirected to the Masterio setup wizard. Step 1 is the welcome page. If you're familiar with the plugin, you're free to skip to the dashboard. However, we recommend new users to complete the setup before starting to create a course. So press start now and proceed to the course section. As you can see, you can define the number of courses to show in a single row of your site's courses listing page. Also, you can set the total number of courses your listing page displays. After configuring both options, click next. This takes you to step 3, that is quiz. Here, set the number of questions you want to display per page in a quiz. The next step is to configure these 4 pages of your site. Course list, learning, account, and checkout. The course list displays all the courses available on your site. A student reaches the learning page when they start an individual course. The account page on the other hand is the individual account for any instructor or student. A student is taken to the checkout page when they purchase a course. The setup wizard creates pages for course list, learning, account and checkout by default. It also automatically selects these default pages in the dropdown. However, if you have a custom course list, learning, account or checkout page, you can choose them from the dropdown instead. Doing this replaces Masterio's default pages with your custom ones. Otherwise, you can leave the pages as they are and hit next. You're now in the payment configuration step. You just need to choose the currency you want to use for online transactions. Also, choose the position to display the currency symbol. It can be left, right, left space or right space. When you've done that, Hit the finish button. This brings you to the end of the setup wizard. Congratulations, you're all done with the installation and setup. What's next? Course creation, of course. Start building a new course by clicking this button here. We'll cover the topic of course creation in a different tutorial. So stick around until then.